Few golf companies know distance more than TaylorMade. And there's a ton of distance packed into the TaylorMade Stealth UDI and DHY driving irons. And today in this episode of the Swing Report, we'll tell you everything you need to know. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahova, Second Swing Golf, joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing Minnetonka. And we got some new driving irons today, Thomas, from TaylorMade, the Stealth DHY and UDI. Um, I think a couple years now after they released the Sim UDI and DHY. So, uh, but of course, TaylorMade distance, explosiveness, launch, all those things, TaylorMade's one of the leaders in the industry. So we should expect nothing less with these irons here. Yeah, I love driving irons mm -hmm. and I love comparing them. So today's gonna be a fun task compar comparing the UDI and DHY mm -hmm. to talk about maybe the launch angle, forgiveness level, because these are really are two completely different irons. The uh, UDI, ultimate driving iron, right? Yep. It's, it's gonna be a lower, more penetrating ball flight. The DHY is gonna be a little more forgiving and easy to get up in the air yep. and probably out of uneven lies as well. Yeah, so there's there's obviously some similarities between the two. Uh, you know, they're both that hollow body forge construction, um, you know, inverted cone technology, a lot of explosiveness, a lot of distance there and generating that ball speed. Um, both have that kind of that speed foam, rather speed foam air actually, that's kind of the difference between uh, stealth and the sim models. Um, speed foam air, a little bit less dense, 69% less dense, to provide more weight, redistributed onto the perimeter of the club for that forgiveness. Um, and then lastly, that through slot speed pocket on the sole. So really help with those low face strikes that you're not gonna lose distance or lose that forgiveness. It's gonna make sure it's stable and still produce a high ball speed. So a lot of that technology packed in there that we're used to from TaylorMade, but then as you mentioned, the big difference is gonna be where that center of gravity is and that shape, the DHY here, a lot wider sole. Center of gravity is a little lower to provide easier launch and you know more stability, less resistance to twist. Yep. That UDI in your hand is gonna be basically for the for you, uh, the type of player that wants that workability, lower launch and lower spin. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly that. And you know, coming back to the type of golfer, you know, kind of fitting into these, and we'll talk about that a little later, but generally speaking, UDI is gonna be the golfer that plays, say, the P790, P770 mm -hmm. irons. DHY is gonna be more someone that's playing kind of like a stealth. You talk about the right. length of differences a little bit. The length of the golf shaft is half an inch longer with the DHY than the UDI. Mm -hmm. And also the golf shaft, well the stock shafts anyway, I got the Eldilla Black Ascent, it's actually the same model in both, but you're a lot lighter with uh, uh, more flexibility with the DHY and then a little bit more rigid and a little bit heavier with the UDI. So you can kind of see what type of players this may be catering to with each model here, but of course that's the next step here is we're going to do some testing. So uh, we've got the trackman out here, we'll hit a few shots with each one and uh, we'll see what the data tells us. All right, let's do it. All right, well, Thomas, we've got the TrackMan set up here. Um, first, kind of give us um, you know, what, how we're gonna run this test here. What's the format gonna be? Well, first off, I wanna try hit some shots off a tee. Yep. So driving iron, for me, most of the time is a, is a club that I'm using when I'm trying to get the ball in the fairway, 240 to 260, okay. something in play where I can leave myself a, a good wedge shot on a short par four. Sure, and we've got, so we've got the three iron of the UDI. Yep. which I believe is, is it 20 degrees? It's 20 degrees, yeah. 20 degrees, and then the four iron of the DHY, which is 22. Yep. So. so this is what we got so far for an initial testing. Um, I will tell you, as I mentioned earlier, that the length of the golf shafts are the exact same. We're just talking about two degrees more yep. loft on the on the DHY. Okay. So we'll have to talk about that, about that a little bit with the dynamic loft, but yep. I think it'd be a very, very fair test and see they're similar length, similar golf shafts. Yep. Um, and then we'll see how they go. All right, let's see it. It was a nice straight shot. It would didn't, feel good? Didn't feel like I hit it perfectly okay. out of the screws. I was, I was interested in that answer because... It felt like it was slightly low heel. Uh, just based on sound, it didn't feel like it was perfect contact, but... Yep. The result there is still a 243-yard shot. Yeah, that's still pretty so good. a little bit of extra spin, I think, compared to what you'd, you'd expect for you, anyway, out of this club. Yep. See, that was that was, hit a little more solid. Yeah, that sound was a little bit more crisp and solid, so just didn't quite turn over much there. Yeah. Flushed it. That one's right at it. That one is all over the target right there. The little baby draw. All right, so Thomas, that was the Stealth UDI off the tee, five shots, and I need to show you this 
this information here, or at least tell you this information because, so we've got five shots. Your carry distances, besides your first shot was 230, you hit that a little bit Healy, I think you said? Yep. Here are your carry distances after that. 243.2, 245.2, 244.9, 243.2. That's very good. Within about yeah. a yard to two yards yeah. with every one. And on the map, it's you can see on the map very consistent on those four. Obviously, the one miss hit, you dropped about 10 yards. Yep. Other than that, it's a very consistent club, it seems like. I mean, and you have one that didn't quite draw, and then really a baby draw with the rest of them. Yeah, and so we've got one myself lined up here at a pole in the distance. There's two more poles, 15 yards left and right. Yep. All five shots that I hit were within those poles, mm -hmm. so I would hit the fairway every single time. Yeah, oh yeah, all yep. five of those are, you know, you're sitting really good off the tee there for sure. And I mean, total distance, you're right at about 250 to 260 with every one as well. Besides that first one was a slight miss hit, we ran around 250, but really good stuff from the UDI there. So yep. now I'm curious on the DHY because it's, again, it seems like a more powerful club. It's obviously gonna be less loft, or excuse me, more loft, but is it gonna go as far? Is it gonna launch higher with that extra loft? How much higher is it gonna launch? I'm curious on that. Right, I mean, looking down at it, the UDI just looks kind of like more iron-like. Yep. DHY looks more like a, like a hybrid yep, yep. there. So you know, also can see kind of where they've got their, their mm -hmm. screws. Yep, on the yep, DHY, yep. they got the screw, the Down weight the on the sole, and then you got on the back side mm -hmm. with, the, with the UDI. So you know where they're trying to move the center of gravity around. Yep. So they're trying to promote a little more height with the DHY, yeah. a little less height with the UDI. So we should see the DHY comfortably go higher than the UDI based on A, the loft, but also B, just that design there. For what it's worth, the UDI was 115 feet in the air on average. Okay, so Which is still pretty good for. So that's pretty good height. Me, yeah. mm -hmm. Yep. So let's see. Uh, let's see the DHY in action here. Ooh. That was a little miss hit. Was it? That was low on the face. Yeah. That's fine. We got one of each then. Yeah, that one was definitely an outlier. Hey, it went dead straight though. So. It did. <laughs> for not catching the middle of the face. No, it's the straightest one so far, actually. I was very actually. happy with how straight it went. It's just, you know, about 15 yards shorter than the rest of them. Yeah. That was a pretty solid. Yep. That was definitely higher on the horizon mm -hmm. there. Definitely a higher launch, you can yep. tell. A little higher, that's what I can see so mm -hmm. far. Yeah, you can definitely see, see that for sure. So we had one outlier with each one, right? I think it was mm -hmm. probably the it first one. It was the first one, one of each set of shots there yep. um, that I can remove, or at least uncheck the box here. We can kind of see what the dispersion and the numbers tell us here. But uh, so I'll bring up the dispersion on the left side here. And so what we have is a much straighter ball flight, I think, in general with the DHY. Also shorter though. Um, so you have, you know, and that's part of the loft, I think, yep. discussion that we were going to have. There's two degrees of loft difference between um, the One thing we really wanted to check on was the height. So 142 feet on average with the DHY. So a yep. um, lot higher in the air. Um, what did you think about the feel of, of both? Did it feel pretty similar? The, uh, the UDI felt like it was coming off the face a little more explosively. Okay. Where this, uh, it, it also felt pretty explosive as well. Just seeing it so much higher, I was and was watching it in midair. I was like, "Is this thing spinning or is this thing not spinning?" Yeah, it just kind of kept going. And I know it's a four driving iron, so it's going to spin a little bit more than the three there. But what were the spin numbers like? Yeah, the spin was 45 on average, 4500 with the DHY and 37 with the UDI. So okay. big spin difference there. Yep. Um, but I'd you say had... you add in, you add two degrees of loft, or well, subtract two degrees of loft. I'd say the spin would be maybe. To a 300 difference. Yeah, so probably the lower 4,000. Yep. So you're seeing about a three to 400 RPM difference probably in spin between the two clubs, roughly. Yep. So, and what more spin's gonna help a lot of those golfers that maybe need that extra launch, need to help with the ball in the air, more spin's gonna help with that. So you see that difference with these two clubs, I think. Yeah, it's it felt solid. I would say just having that little extra bit of loft made this easier to feel like I'm hitting it. Yeah. Um, well, the UDI. I felt comfortable with the UDI off the tee. Yeah. So the next part of this testing portion is I actually want to test both of them, just hitting maybe just out of the uh, first cut of rough. Yeah, maybe a couple shots out of the rough with each and just to see, see how, they how come smoothly. Out. Sure, let's yep. do that. That was hit pretty good. Yeah. It almost had that kind of rise effect to it where it's like right. penetrated, then it really kind of, the spin sort of caught up to itself there, it seemed like. 
So I'll, I'll hit two shots here with the ball kind of sitting up, and then the last one I'll just kind of drop the ball down, see okay. how the ball settles. It was crisp contact, wasn't it? Yeah, pretty crisp. All right, last one. Let's just kind of drop the ball. Yep. All right. So it's so that could be interesting. We got a little bit of a uh, kind of sunk in a little bit there. Sunk in a little bit. And it got through. Yeah. Just fine. Curious on distance here because those first two were really close to each other distance wise. It's got to be pretty close to this one before. I'm curious on the spin because what's interesting is that your spin on those last two shots actually went up by about 500 to 600 RPM. You're okay. a little over 5,000. Yep. This shot was 42, so it did go a little further, but it's still a pretty consistent you know, group of shots there. You had two that carried about 220, that one carried 227. So okay. pretty yep. consistent there, and you had you know, right along the center line, that last one was a little bit left, but that's being nitpicky. Yep, I'd be happy with that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, out of that kind of lie, the yeah. fact that I could still run a, run a long par five, get, oh, for get sure. home. For sure. Give myself a chance. It's good. All right, let's try that UDI now. Okay. Got through okay, but yeah, it's definitely just a little bit lower. Yeah. Spin staying a little bit lower too. It's still like the spin's going up a little bit in the rough with each, which is a little bit interesting. Yep. But it's still, um, you know, it's still like the UDI is still much lower than the DHY. Right. So that's last one. Let's do that same thing we kind of did before. Just try to drop it down in there so it's kind of sitting in a little bit of grass. Okay. Got through, but I feel like the club got just a little bit more caught. A little caught. And then I think that's low spinning though compared to the, uh, the DHY. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So interesting that that actually ended up at a similar distance to those other shots. You're gonna. In the final thoughts section here, well, I'll give you the numbers for sure, but so I think what's interesting is the spin because the spin is about seven to 800 RPM difference, whether it's off the tee or whether it's in the rough for okay. each of the clubs. So um, like for example, here we talked about, well, off the tee, we talked about 4,500 to 3,700. Here it's 4,900 with the DHY, 4,200 with the UDI. Okay. So you're still seeing that, that big difference in the spin um, the launch is about three degrees difference with each as well, uh, whether it's off the tee or whether it's in the rough. So yep. pretty consistent there actually, all things considered. And then your dispersion is actually almost like smaller with, and now it's only three shots compared to the, um, the larger sample from before of four, but your, your dispersion was really good with actually out of the rough with that UDI, despite maybe that feeling of getting caught a little bit on that last one. Yeah, and then once again, I think it, it was flying a little higher as well out of the rough oh, with yeah. the DHY versus mm -hmm. the UDI. Yeah, it was a lot higher. Uh, we're talking about 129 feet versus 103 feet okay. on average. So, yeah. so lost a little height coming out of the rough with the UDI. You know, yeah. lost height with the DHY too, but it still stayed higher right. than the UDI. For sure. Well, um, I think with, with that said, we've got our testing complete here. Let's, uh, let's head to that final thought section and uh, wrap this thing up. Sounds good. So Thomas, you've got the numbers now in front of you. Um, does anything else stand out about the Stealth UDI and DHY there from maybe we didn't talk about yet? Yeah, I mean, uh, we talked about the loft and the clubs being off by two degrees. I'm seeing the dynamic loft being a couple of degrees less okay. with the UDI, so that kind of made sense. Um, swing speed numbers were basically the exact same, so it's, it's a good comparison, um, but you could definitely see the launch angle you know, quite significantly lower with the UDI. Okay. Looking at the yeah. launch angle, 13.4 with the UDI, DHY was 16.3 off the tee. And then okay. in the rough, 14.8 with the DHY, 11.5 with the UDI. So, interesting because of the two degree difference, you expect the UDI to be lower by loft, but then you also add about a degree or degree and a half. Yep. Is that maybe due to construction of the club a little bit and kind of where that center of gravity is? Yeah, I would say for sure it's mm -hmm. to do with the construction of the, of the club. Um, and then we also can kind of see what the construction of the club does with the landing angle. I think that's probably the biggest okay. takeaway here is stealth UDI off the tee, we're talking 45 degree landing angle. Um, in the rough, 43.6. Okay. So both in the 40s. Yep, yep, yep. Stealth DHY off the tee, 51.5. Wow. So that's six degrees higher. DHY rough, 50.1. So there's the difference right there. We're talking a seven degree difference in landing angle out of the rough with wow. the DHY versus UDI. Sure. So you're probably going to pick and choose between each club, but just know DHY is going to be more forgiving and easier to hit out of more uneven lies. Yeah, yeah, and 
so I guess we can kind of get in now to that, you know, who is it for yep. uh, question that we always kind of try to answer in these uh, swing report videos. And right there is kind of a big indication because right. it's basically what the player is looking for. For you, you don't need to launch the ball higher. You don't need that extra spin. So the DHY is probably not for you, but talk about the player that would fit into the DHY. Um, I, I, can, I have a few theories on my own and we kind of talked about a little bit of what we thought before testing, but uh, kind of give us a final conclusion after testing. I mean, apples to apples, probably a golfer that's got a little less club speed. Yeah. Higher handicap golfer. Yeah. Um, and I mentioned this earlier in the intro, probably a player that's maybe more or less playing the stealth irons. Okay. So playing a little more game improvement iron. Yeah. Where the UDI is going to be for a golfer that's probably playing the, the P, you know, P790, mm -hmm. P770. Or even the the MBs or Even MCs. MBs or MCs or something yeah. like along those lines. So. Mm -hmm. And I mentioned that earlier too, the length of the golf club, uh, the, the DHY is half an inch longer than the UDI when you're talking about the exact same loft on the club heads. Yep. So it's still yeah. the progressive length that, that right. TaylorMade does with those particular, depends on what irons you fit into. Yep. Right, exactly. So kind of that the UDI then, you know, like you mentioned, players that playing TaylorMade clubs would fit into that P series, you know, it's whether it's the MCs, the 770s, maybe even 790s. Uh, usually better players, a uh, little more skilled, maybe even looking for that workability or lower launch with the UDI. Yep. Um, and then we talked about the DHY, you mentioned all the higher candy cap maybe, or someone that needs some extra speed and launch there. So the DHY comes into play, but both are great clubs. I think we saw some explosiveness with both. You're hitting that ball plenty far out there, 250, 260 yards. Um, also, I think both are really well out of the rough. Uh, yes. Things considered. Maybe yep. you maybe thought the UDI snagged a little bit more than the DHY, but it did. The performance was still good on both of them, I think. Yeah, it, I had the most amount of curve with the UDI out of the rough. It was 28 feet of curve to the left. Yeah. All other shots today, the DHY out of the rough was two feet to the left. <laughs> um, you, DHY off the tee was seven feet to the left, and yeah. UDI off the tee was eight left. Okay, so, so it, it curved it, a little bit more, mm -hmm. and it got like I said, it got snagged a little bit in the rough there. Uh, if you look here, my face angle was 0 0.8 degrees closed coming out of the rough versus basically dead square with okay. the other shots. So a little bit maybe something to think about for golfers that are looking at the UDI. Um, and that's something that we haven't, an element of the testing we haven't actually done before. So that was kind of interesting to see right. that unfold there. But um, other than that, I think really good stuff here from TaylorMade and the Stealth UDI and DHY irons. Uh, they're going to be really nice to add into the bag for golfers this year. Uh, really between that, maybe that three wood or five wood and that four iron, for example, a really good gap uh, to fill with this club. So uh, golfers, if you're interested in either one of these clubs, you know what to do. You can go to secondswing.com and place your order, uh, or you can schedule a fitting with one of our master fitters, such as Thomas here at our stores, and we'll get you dialed in, uh, hitting some uh, fairway finders off the tee with the Stealth UDI or DHY. So Thomas, thanks for joining, breaking out all the data, uh, really good stuff here today. Yep, not a problem.